out. So someone tried to come through the tunnel, and now police are trying to. We're gonna go to the other side, officer. We're going to this. We're going to the other side. Where we see it. Tell them you're on live. The Tell them what you're on live. We're on. We're with CNN, guys. Come here, guys. Let me just get our team together. Mark, over here. So, so as you can understand... Everybody uh, got in... Uh, go ahead, Shimon. Go ahead, Don. No, I was just going to say, you know, you, you were watching Jason. I was watching Jason Carroll earlier in, in Brooklyn, and I actually got a call from a police official who was a little distressed about what he saw and called me and said if there was any help that I needed to let him know. Uh, so, you know, we're trying to you let the police here know that we're just trying to do our jobs and making sure that we can capture these moments. And, you know, it just takes some, some talking to them sometimes. But, you know, we, we have been pushed back a little bit here. Uh, but things seem to be calming down now. They're trying to keep people back. They, they're also down the block here. There's, they, they've been pushing this group. I don't know if you could see them, but they're pushing this group all the way down the block. Were these two separate groups, Shimon? And or was this one, one group that was once all together? Shimon, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Go ahead, Don. I'm sorry. I said, is this what, what was, was this question? two separate groups, or was this group all together at once? Yes. At one point? No, it was two separate groups. We were walking. So we were in Times Square, and we walked down. We were going to Union Square because we heard... Uh, there was some activity. And on our way here, we saw the group on 23rd Street. And they were running and cheering, and we heard glass breaking. And so we ran over and we saw them looting. This group then met up with the other group that was coming. The other group, as I said to you, were, were, for the most part today, I was with them. I saw the leader, one of the leaders of the group. They've been peaceful. They've been good. It is always what happens here is that you have the agitators and then some the bad actors who meet up with the peaceful protesters and stirs as, stirs things up. And the police are aware of this, right? We've heard of that. We've heard of them talking about this now for days. Um, and there's also a curfew, so they need to clear the street. And I think that the peaceful protesters, as you saw, were trying to bring down the temperature, trying to def defuse the situation. But bottles started flying at the police officers and other debris, and that was it. The police moved in. Um, and now they're just standing around. They've made several arrests. Did they this car try to come vehicle. through an intersection? Or do we, do we know? Because were the streets blocked off when these protesters were coming through? Where did this car come out of nowhere? nowhere yeah, they, I, yeah, I don't know, Don. But all of a sudden, the police were saying something to them. And I think they, and then within a few seconds, they were pulling people out of the car. You saw them throw someone on the ground. They put threw someone up against a wall here. So we don't know. Right now, the four individuals, it looks like, who are in that car. Well, Shimon, are, are, Shimon, let me ask you something. Their hands up. There was a, it go, you could go over to where the, the, okay, there they are. Go on. Describe that before I ask you a question. Sorry. Go on. Yeah. No, they're, they're, they're. They're holding them. They have their hands on the uh, trunk here, and the police are trying to figure. I, I don't know why they're stopped on. Um, it is after curfew. Cars are not. Remember, cars south of 96th Street are not supposed to be uh, in Manhattan. So it's the curfew, and they close off the streets south of 96th Street. So I don't know how they wound up here or why they're here. They're also here arresting a. Uh, a a man here, an individual, um, the police here are arresting. Um, but things have settled down here for now. The police, I could see in the distance, are pushing, uh, are uh, not pushing, but they're um, moving some people back. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It is interesting. You're right. It's a good question. I don't know what this. Well, what my this question car was when you. To do, but something, this is a question I was going to ask you. When you rounded the corner there, you saw this woman laying on the ground, and it, it, it's either your photographer or producer, I'm not sure, or maybe a security person. It's our security team. Said that she got hit by a car. I don't know if she got hit by the car and then that's where she landed that way. I'm not sure, I'm just asking, because what car would she have been hit she, by? You know what, Don? She's not even, 
she's, she's not gone. even here anymore. She got up. Yeah. She's gone. So she maybe, thankfully, she's not seriously hurt. She may have just been um, hurt as people yeah. were running from the scene. Um, but I think, you know, the point you raised about there were two groups here, they met up, the bad actors mixed in with the good actors, and that was it. Let me and let me jump in here, um, Shimon, police. because I need to I need to tell ahead, people what's going on on the screen. Just stand by. I'm going to get back back to you in uh, a short short order. So uh, 10:40, and you're watching um, obviously CNN, and this this is what's playing out in New York City. Right side of your screen, our Shimon Prokop has on the scene of uh, uh, this incident that that's happening in Chelsea, where we saw several people being detained by police officers. One of them you see uh, there to the right uh, being walked away. Uh, with those uh, sort of those zip tie um, cuffs on, and then to on the left of your screen, you're looking at the Manhattan Bridge, and there are, there's a large group of protesters on this bridge. I'm not sure if they're making their way uh, to Brooklyn or um, or back. I'm not exactly sure which in which direction they're going. This is a courtesy, courtesy of our affiliate WPIX, and we don't have control, and we don't have any CNN personnel. We're just watching their pictures. But this is you're looking at this. You're seeing. Uh, a, the, a NYPD car and then a bus, or what appears to be a bus or some sort of motor home type vehicle uh, trying to get through that crowd of protesters uh, on the bridge. Uh, and so at, at one point we saw on the bridge uh, people uh, taking a knee, uh, and, and if they push in closer we can see exactly what's going on. The people are just sort of walking around the vehicle. The vehicle may not be moving. Yeah, that's what's happening. The people are walking around the vehicle. The vehicle is not moving. Um, and again, this is what's happening uh, in New York City right now. And it, it, this appears to be peaceful. It doesn't look like there's anyone being detained. No one is out of order. At, at one point, as I said, uh, the, these folks were looking like they were taking a knee, kneeling there right in the um, middle of the bridge, um, right over the river. So. Here's the thing, though. There's a curfew at 8 p.m. tonight, supposed to go into effect. Uh, police department under really considerable, considerable amount of pressure, along with the mayor, from the governor, governor of New York, New York State, Andrew Cuomo, who is not happy with, he says, the performance of the mayor and the orders that were given to the police department, not necessarily the officers. Uh, in a statement saying he has great respect for the officers and the work they do, but he was not happy with uh, how, I guess, what orders were given and how that was uh, carried out or what they were told to carry out. But again, this is what's happening in New York City, large group of protesters here. And if we can get just get back to Shimon Prokop has a shot. I just want to get people to the streets of New York um, before we leave them for just a short break here. But this is what's happening. And I would imagine this is going to be breaking out. Uh, happening in New York City and possibly in other cities across America tonight. CNN is on top of it. We will get back to you right after a quick break. Don't go anywhere.